Good Thursday morning, everybody. A little bit difficult on the schedule for this morning. Filling in for the vacationing Todd Demers. I'm meteorologist Austin Honick with a quick check of your forecast for this morning. Seeing again some pretty sloppy conditions on the roadways out there. Corey Ventura will have more on traffic coming up throughout the rest of the morning, so stay tuned for more on that. We'll also take a look at the threat of severe weather in the Mid-South, which does again exist across much of the area today. Not as bad as down south. We're awaiting the update from the Storm Prediction Center, which should be again at any point in time right now. Again, just past about 8 o'clock is when we're doing this on Thursday morning. So if you have any plans for traveling, a little bit of extra time to get to where you're going, and again, making certain that you got your headlights on out there. If it's raining and it's daytime, your headlights are on. That's state law. So let's all be careful out there and make certain we watch what's going on down there. Also, we have a flash flood watch in effect. Now, granted, that doesn't uh, immediately sound like anything in the way of a major problem, but the problem is going to be with the heavy rainfall. That fills up the ditches and the culverts, and some of those get blocked by springtime debris, branches, leaves, garbage, whatever, that could spill over onto the roadways. And that could cause some backups, especially if you can't see what's going on down the roadway ahead of you. So today is going to be a very good day to make certain that you are paying attention, number one, on the roadways, and number two, making certain you are watching what goes on down the roadway in front of you. If you come across any filled up areas that are, again, washing across the roadways and moving across very quickly, turn around, don't drown, find another way to get to where you're going. It's going to be one of the best bets you can possibly make to make certain you stay safe out there driving into water-covered roadways that could sweep you away, short out your electrical system, and that could be the last mistake that you ever make. So please use caution out there for today on a number of different things. Let's go ahead and get started with the forecast for the rest of the day today. Again, should be seeing mostly cloudy skies Maybe a little bit of sunshine out there into the area for this morning, but that's really going to be about it. And through the rest of the day, expecting chances of showers and thunderstorms. Winds will be breezy out of the south today. We'll be seeing those winds turn around to the west-northwest. That'll escort in some cooler air. So for today on Thursday, a little bit on the mild side, just below normal on the temperatures, briefly into around the lower 70s. And then for Good Friday, temperatures may be quite brisk across the area. More on that forecast coming up here in just a little bit. West Memphis, Arkansas, a little bit of clearing looking back toward downtown Memphis. Kind of hazy on the horizon there. Temperatures again coolishly mild back into the mid-60s. Winds are picking up a little bit out of the south. And we have had at least some rainfall in the rain gauge at the West Memphis Airport for early on. Conditions around Olive Branch, thanks to former mayor, current meteorologist Sam Reichert's view of around City Hall and looking back to the northwest. 61 degrees reported there. Winds also out of the south at about 6 miles per hour on the Weather Underground camera network. From Weatherbug, the view around Germantown City Hall, Poplar Pike and Germantown Road, looking back toward the northwest. Normally, you could see the towers of East Memphis out there on the horizon. Not the case for this morning with rain and fog and some pretty good amounts of breeze out there as well. Seeing winds out of the south about 9 and in Germantown at City Hall registering 63 degrees so far. And the view from our Memphis International Airport, 240 and Airways camera, the airport right back through here. Difficult to see for this morning again with all that rain, clouds, and a little bit of fog mixed in with there as well, and rain popping up on the camera lens. Seeing scattered thunderstorms at the airport, breezy southerly winds, but the good news at this time, everything is moving along quite nicely. So we have a green icon here that's delays of 15 minutes or less. And across the rest of the country, Houston International. Uh, again, showing a delay of 45 minutes plus this morning, rain and thunderstorms causing delays. Now, earlier today at Chicago O'Hare, we did manage to pick up some ground stop programs going on. Uh, those were indefinite. Now, it's not showing any problems with inbound flights at this point, but if you're traveling to Chicago, you may run into some slowdowns there. Definitely looking at some slowdowns around Houston. More information on this, you can go to the FAA's website or go to wreg.com slash weather. Also, you can get our complete forecast update, the 7 to 10 day available there. If you can't stick around for the rest of our forecast, again, scrolling by at the bottom portion of your screen in the blue bar down there. Showers and thunderstorms on Storm Tracker 3S radar. If you're in the eastern parts of the viewing area, east of Oxford, Corinth, 
back to around Jackson, Tennessee, east of Dyersburg. You've not gotten too much, again, very early this morning, but this whole line is going to be making its way slowly but surely across the rest of the Mid-South area throughout the rest of the day today. Heaviest activity approaching the metro area just to our west, right around West Memphis, Arkansas. And that's going to be making its way into and around the area as we go throughout the rest of the day for today. And for those of you asking about the various uh, locations out there, I uh, wish we could go ahead and give you an idea as to what's happening at each and every single location. But unfortunately, kind of hard to do that for everybody. So again, just generically, West Tennessee, Northern Mississippi, Eastern Arkansas, and Memphis in the metro area right here in the center part of your scan from Storm Tracker 3S radar. So the heaviest rainfall from the boot heel down into southeastern Arkansas, northwest Mississippi picking up some showers and thunderstorms around Tunica down toward Clarksdale, and then more showers and thunderstorms slowly but surely making their way over the Mississippi into West Tennessee. So expecting, again, some pretty sloppy conditions out there for driving throughout the rest of the day today. And again, continuing to monitor for any signs of severe weather. We have not had any severe weather throughout the entire Thursday morning period. That's good news. But we also are seeing that threat for flash flooding, and that's in effect for all of the News Channel 3 viewing area to where we could see another one to three inches of rainfall as the system goes ahead and moves on through the area. So again, turn around, don't drown, find another way to get to where you're going as we see more showers and more thunderstorms dropping rainfall right over the same area again and again and again. We'll be getting rid of this rainfall later on tonight. It's going to take a while to get rid of most of that at this time as we have tons of moisture on the way from the Gulf of Mexico. This storm system pretty deep and is going to be, again, an active one Possibly for later on today, the possibility of, again, severe weather. That's something we're going to be watching for, but no signs of that as of, again, early Thursday morning. Temperatures in the Mid-South cool back in the lower 60s, and an inch and a half of rain being reported at Lee County School District. This is available on the WeatherNet system from WeatherBug, and seeing, again, some pretty soggy conditions out there already. Another round of rainfall, again, set for next week. We'll talk a uh, look at that coming up in just a little while. Now, through the rest of today, the these showers and thunderstorms continue to overspread the Mid-South, so the kids heading home from school will also need some rain protection there. More showers and thunderstorms as the winds begin to turn around from the north. We'll see that linger through dinner time tonight, right on in through about News Channel 3 at 10, and there could be some lingering showers past midnight and right into early on Friday morning around daybreak. Now, it doesn't look like today, at least as much as today, but there could be some leftover showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder past the Tennessee River Valley very early on Friday. So if that affects traffic, tune in to Corey Ventura. Uh, tomorrow's forecast will have that again available there as well. New information from the Storm Prediction Center and a little bit of good news out there. Let me take just a second to zoom in on this. As we see, the threat for severe weather has been curtailed quite a lot in northern parts of the viewing area. So from I-40 north of there, we have a slim marginal threat area and a wider severe weather threat, a slight risk of severe weather. So in the Mid-South, the best possibility of severe weather will be from Alcorn County in Mississippi back through about Phillips and Lee County in Arkansas, everything just to the south of the metro area, which does include parts of Shelby County. So northern Mississippi, extreme southeastern Arkansas, and extreme southwestern parts of Tennessee. That'll be the main threat area for severe weather through today. Now, the farther south you go into and around the Gulf Coast, from the Florida Panhandle back to around Texas, looks like we just lost some of that information right there for right now. Let me go back through that one more time. Uh, again, for right now, okay, come on, cranky computer, here we go. Uh, that's where we're seeing, again, the main threat for right now. This is an enhanced risk about midway up the scale for severe weather purposes. So New Orleans back down to around the 4910 junction. Jackson, Mississippi, just south of the Mid-South, back through about Birmingham and into around the panhandle of Florida. That's going to be the main threat of severe weather throughout the rest of the day. We have less of a threat here in the Mid-South, but we still have a threat. So again, we need to watch this uh, very carefully. Not trying to panic anybody. This is just us trying to make certain you know what's going on. So again, the potential is there. Whether or not it happens, we still have to wait and see what goes on in the next several hours. But please be weather aware. 
Keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Get your weather radio ready to go if you haven't done so already. Get your cell phone charged up and ready just to be on the safe side to make certain you've got plenty of power. Get uh, Sign up for push alerts from the National Weather Service on this. Do not depend on just tornado sirens to get your weather information out there. Tomorrow, the threat moves well east of us, so we shouldn't see too much of a problem. Threat of thunderstorms in general just to our south for Friday. And then by Saturday, no problems whatsoever. Looking at some dry periods into the rest of the holiday weekend coming up. Rest of the forecast today, again, showers and thunderstorms across the area. Good morning to everybody who's tuning in from across the Mid-South so far. Again, could be severe weather out there. Temperatures pushing 70 degrees today. Much cooler for Good Friday. Temperatures tomorrow will be well below normal and only in the mid to upper 50s. So by the time everybody heads out for church services tomorrow evening, we may see again the possibility of some less chances of rainfall and some cooler conditions into and around the area for right now. Now through the weekend, looking better back in the upper 60s, still below normal for Saturday. A lot of churches and congregations uh, contact us ahead of time to see what's going on for outdoor sunrise services on Easter Sunday morning. It's going to be cool. It's going to be mainly sunny out there, but it will be brisk Sunday morning, upper 40s to around lower 50s. So a jacket, a light coat for outdoor sunrise services would be a very good idea. Rest of Sunday looks glorious back in the mid-70s. Very close to normal and plenty of sunshine, so no problems showing up here. Rest of the week, temperatures remain normal. Back in the 70s for highs, lower 60s for low temperatures. Unfortunately, as we head toward midweek, late Tuesday and onwards, could be the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms coming on through. Not great chances, but still possible, so that's something we need to watch out for. Severe weather possibilities from this again way too early to tell at this point in time but at this time of the year we really need to watch out and see what goes on where those showers and thunderstorms are considered and again could be seeing severe weather out there i'll have your forecast update throughout the rest of the upcoming weekend on the east arkansas broadcast network stations and of course we'll have more coming up with jim jaggers tonight starting on news channel three first at four for more information about that. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We should have another one coming up later on this morning on my Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter pages, so stay tuned for that, depending on what's going on here in the studio. And, of course, we'll have more throughout the rest of the weekend. Again, keeping an eye on those storms for today. Definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated on what we may be looking for. Todd Demers is off tomorrow as well, so I'll be in for your daybreak forecast. And, of course, Jim Jaggers has more coming up tonight on News Channel 3, all the way through News Channel 3 at 10. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. And stick around for a lot more throughout the rest of the day with News Channel 3 on air and online. Thanks for joining us.